Throughout history, social innovations have been the instrument of our technological transformation, from the simplest tools to modern mechanical marvels. In a similar manner, Vietnam has grown from one of the least developed countries to one of the most dynamic manufacturing hubs in Southeast Asia. Like other emerging economies, Vietnam started with low-skilled industries like footwear and textiles. Then came the electronic sector, which accounts for nearly 25% of GDP in 2015, a massive increase from 5.2% in 2010. Vietnam's GDP has grown at an average of 6.4% since 2000, and one of its appeal lies in its low cost of labor. However, pressures are mounting to raise the wages of its workers. To counter this, industry insiders have called for the manufacturing sector to adopt technologies such as automation and IoT. IoT, also known as the Internet of Things, uses smart sensors and analytics to enhance manufacturing efficiency and lower the cost of production. As a champion of industrial automation, Hitachi has successfully implemented such technologies in Japan, Singapore, and other countries around the world. Manufacturing is not the only sector looking to evolve. The other is finance. The government has announced plans to reduce cash transactions in the country to 10% by 2020. This move is meant to boost the e-commerce market in Vietnam, which was worth 400,000 US dollars in 2015. It is expected to grow exponentially to 7.5 billion US dollars by 2025. The cashless initiative faces an uphill battle, as 90% of Vietnam's online shoppers use cash on delivery. To help, Hitachi has worked with external partners to offer non-cash payment services in Vietnam. The service will enable online shopping payments with plans for it to pay for Vietnam's subway system. Speaking of subways, Ho Chi Minh City has been crying out for a transportation solution to ease its mobility issues. Home to Vietnam's southern economic hub with nearly 13 million residents, the city suffers from a lack of transit options, forcing people to battle their way through the congested streets. Those congested streets have to handle a total of 627,000 cars and 8.5 million motorbikes. The congestion is likely to worsen, as Vietnam cuts tariffs on ASEAN car imports in 2019, reducing car prices by 42%. To ease the congestion, the city has embarked on a long-term solution of a subway system. Hitachi has been tasked to supply a fleet of trains, ticketing machines and communication systems. The railway will run through the core of the city, just like technology, which has been the centerpiece of society's transformation. At Hitachi, our expertise in IT and operational technology helps to advance social innovation and raise the quality of life in the communities we serve. With Hitachi, the future is open to suggestions, 